Since when am I ready for anything before you? Look, I'm sorry your sister can't make it, but when duty calls... You know, eventually you're going to have to have a conversation with me. We need to talk about Starfleet. Boy, am I tired of talking about Starfleet. What the hell are you doing here? Dr. April, I'd like to speak with you in my quarters, please. At your earliest convenience, of course. Of course, Captain. You need to lower your voice. You need to explain yourself. You took a commission without discussing it with me. Well, I tried to discuss it many times, but you shut me out. Shut you out? That's not... Yes, it is. I've had my bags packed for days. Did you not notice? Or did you not care? Of course I care. Well, you have a funny way of showing it. That's low. Then I apologize. When were you going to tell me? I thought I had more time. I was going to tell you. I tried to tell you, but you just don't listen to anything I say. I'm sorry that my life became a hindrance for you. That was low. Then I apologize. Look, I've tried to help you, Robert. I've tried to be there for you. And in truth, I'm still here for you. I know that you're going through some things. Things doesn't cover it, Sarah. But I have a career, too. And I just... I can't just sit and wait for you to make up your mind. I have to make good decisions, not just for us, but for me as well. I was staying on Earth for you. You were staying on Earth for yourself. Because you were scared. Then you have every right to be. Let's not delude ourselves, though, on reasoning. I can't guarantee your safety. I'm a Starfleet officer. I don't need protection. Let's talk. You want to talk? Let's talk right now. I'm right here. What do you want me to say, Sarah? I'm broken. I've messed up. I'm not the man I was, and I don't know how to be. That I do need your help more than I care to admit. Dr. April? Yes. You're needed in sick bay, doctor. I'm on my way. Captain. Will he make it? I don't know. This flesh eating virus is unlike anything I've ever seen before. If it had been a direct hit, he'd already be dead. Is it contagious? No. God, I'm barely able to keep his vitals at the minimal level to keep him alive. If these Sarah have a biological weapon like this, I'd hate to think. And Robert? He's in agony. It's destroying biological tissue at a molecular level. It's eating him alive. Options? I've been able to slow its progression somewhat, but I can't get rid of it completely. We simply don't have the knowledge. I'll only put him in stasis. At least in stasis. Hopefully, he will be held in his current condition, no pain and no further damage. I can further analyze the virus, maybe find a cure, but I'm not even certain that stasis will stop the degradation. This way, he can be sent to another medical base. There's nothing more I can do here. Robert, that's all we've got. Do it. Would you like to say something to him before I do? Will it hurt to revive him? He's feeling it either way. Tara Oaks, reading for Sarah April.